All right, today we're gonna make a face filter in Lens Studio. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe! So at the risk of sounding like a Snapchat spokesperson, all I'm gonna say is working in Lens Studio is like being in an, a playground for AR developers. Their tools make it super easy to do really impressive stuff. So yeah, today we're gonna make a face filter. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is open up Lens Studio and let's create a new project. I'm not gonna use any lighting here. Let's delete this. And then the first thing we wanna do is when you open your mouth, I want the mouth to stretch. So let's add a face stretch component. So here you can just play with these points and make everything look how you want. So I want the eyebrows to raise up a little bit and then I want the mouth to open. Let's do that, move that up there. Yeah, so that looks pretty terrifying, cool. I like that. And so now what we can do is I don't want to just like set this value, but I want to be able to interpolate this value from zero to one as you open the mouth. So yeah, I don't know if there's a better way to interpolate this value, but we're going to do it here in a script. So uh, down here in the resources panel, let's create a new script and let's call it daemon. Cool. Now we need to put this in the scene. So uh, on the main camera, let's just drag this daemon script. And then let's open this up in a script editor. Okay, so here, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get a reference to that face stretch component. So the convention here is comment at input, and then we can do component dot face stretch visual. And let's just call this face stretch. So now if we go back here uh, at the, on the camera in the inspector, it has a slot for the face stretch. So just like in Unity, we can drag in this reference here. So here we're gonna need a couple functions. So we need a function for um, mouth opened. So we need to know when the mouth opens. And then we're also gonna need another function for uh, mouth closed. And then we're gonna need an update function because that's where we're gonna do our interpolating. So we'll go update here. And then the last thing we're gonna need is we're going to need uh, a function called lerp. And that's what's gonna do the interpolating. But uh, I don't know, Lens Studio has like a vector 2.lerp, vector 3.lerp. Here we want to lerp a single value, so we're going to have to make our own lerp function. So uh, here, I've saved this on Twitter here. This is a really nice uh, lerp function here. So let's just implement that real quick. So we want to take in a start and an end and t, and then we want to return start times 1 minus t plus end times t. So I'll show you how we're going to use that later. Now, the next thing we need to do is actually make sure these functions are gonna get called. So we need to bind these functions to events. So script.create event. And the first one, we can just do update event. And then we wanna do dot bind to update. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing for mouth opened and mouth closed. So let's just make sure that these are going to get called. Okay, so these are not getting called. What did I do wrong? Oh, uh, mouth opened event. I think I called these wrong. And then mouth closed event. Let's see if this works. Beautiful. So now what we wanna do is, yeah, uh, whenever the mouth is open, we wanna set, uh, well up here, let's just do, let's create a variable called, uh, let's call it desired intensity. Set that equal to zero. So when the mouth is opened, we want the intensity of our effects here to be one. And then when it's closed, we want the intensity to be zero. So then in the update function, the first thing we need to do is get our current intensity. And we'll get this from the face stretch effect. So we'll do script.facestretch.get feature weight. And I believe this one, let's see, feature weight is called capital F feature with a zero. And so now we wanna get our interpolated intensity that we're going to set. So this intensity is going to equal lerp, and then this is where we pass in start, end, and t. So the start is going to be the current intensity, the end is going to be our desired intensity, and we're gonna do uh, t is going to be get delta time, and then we're gonna multiply that by some constant, like a speed we'll go with, I think four worked nicely here. And so now we just need to actually set this intensity. So we can just pretty much use this line up here. We'll delete this. So face stretch dot set. Now we just want to set feature weight, pass in that feature name zero, and then pass in intensity here. So let's test this out. What did I do wrong? 
Oh, oops. No, I want to set feature weight. There we go. Beautiful. That's already terrifying. Okay, so now let's use the liquify effect and make the eyes super creepy. So this effect I think is just super cool. Okay, so add an effect, liquify. Oops, that's not what I want. So add an effect and let's do face liquify. Yeah, face liquify. There we go. That's what we want. And then let's put that in front of the face stretch. And then you'll see here that you get these two eyes that, you know, whatever, super creepy. So now what I did in the demo that you saw is that I left this as the default state. And then I added, um, like I made the eyes kind of like uh, go in and get angry when you got mad. So the way I did that was uh, I duplicated one of these liquify effects and I moved this up into the center. And then let's set this radius. I think I had it on four. Yeah. And then I just like, as you can see, if you move this liquify effect down, it makes the eyes sort of angry there. So what uh, we're going to do here is we're gonna interpolate this whenever you get, we're gonna leave it zero and then interpolate it to four when you get angry. So we've already got everything set up to do that. So we should be able to do this pretty easily. If we open back up our script, um, we're gonna add another component. This one is going to be liquify visual. Let's call this liquify. And then let's drag that in uh, into the inspector there. So on our camera, we have our script liquify and let's drag in that uh, third one there, the center. And then back in our script, all of our hard work is pretty much done here. So liquify dot, uh, or sorry, script dot liquify, script dot liquify dot radius uh, equals intensity and then um, that liquify effect, we want it to go from zero to four, not zero to one. So we'll just do intensity dot four. And then let's test this out, see if it worked. Beautiful. So the other thing I did was I added like a subtle recoloring of the face uh, via a face mask. So the way I did that was if you go to um, the Lens Studio Docs, templates face, face paint, they actually have a Photoshop template that you can download for making um, like face effects via Photoshop. So if you were to open that up in Photoshop, uh, you'll see they have like all these different artboards. I use the full artboard here, which makes like an effect over the entire face. And I just found this texture on Google, random like kind of, I think I typed in grunge texture. This is what I found. And then I used a um, uh, eraser brush to just kind of like take away the hard edges. So get some texture in there that you like, and then, I don't know, yeah, use use these points as a reference around here and just like draw it in the shape that you want. And then you can go to File, Export, uh, Artboards to Files, and then just use these settings here, Artboard Content Only, PNG 24, and then click Export Options and just check Transparency, and then run that. So what you will be, will be left with is a texture that looks something like this. So let's drag this into Lens Studio and use it. So cool, our texture is importing here. Let's create a material for it. So let's just go, um, let's make an unlit material and let's just call this zombie mat. Delete these textures and then inside zombie mat, let's drag in this texture here. Cool, and then let's create a face mask. And let's drag that up here to the top. Okay, so let's drag our zombie mat in here. And then let's set the blend mode to, what did I use? Color dot no, I think I used color. Okay, that looks pretty decent here. And then, but actually, if we go to the zombie mat, let's click opacity texture and just pass in that texture again. I think that's what I did. And yeah, I like that a lot. So let's roll with this. But again, we want this to interpolate when you open the mouth. So let's rename this um, zombie mask. Okay, cool. And then back into our script, we want to expose a uh, face mask visual. So we can duplicate this face mask visual. And let's just call this zombie mask. Cool. Back to camera, we can drag this in. So now we need to interpolate this color. So let's go script dot zombie mask dot main material dot main pass dot base color. And then I think here we should be able to pass in a new vec four. And then that color is just white, so one, one, one. And then the fourth parameter is the alpha, which is going to be our intensity from zero to one. So let's see if this worked. Cool. All right, last thing that I wanna do is I want the inside of the mouth to be black. 
And so this was a little bit trickier, but here is what we're gonna do. So um, first thing we want to make a head binding and put this up at the top here. And basically what we're gonna do is bind a, a black sphere to the center of the mouth. And then we're gonna use another face mask to uh, cover that up uh, kind of as an occluder. So let's actually delete this occluder here and then let's create a sphere. Then let's zero this all out. And then we need a material for this sphere. So let's create another unlit material here. And then let's just call this, I don't know, we could call this mouth maybe. Um, so this is going to be, we want this to be black. So black material. And then let's set the blend mode to normal because we are gonna want to uh, interpolate the alpha of this and I'll show you why later. But so on our sphere, let's put our mouth texture. And then why can't we see it? Head binding, face index should be zero. Cool. And now we have the circle, oh, attached to point head center. Now we want this mouth center. Cool. So now we have this thing attached to our mouth. So let's set up the like occluder mask here. So let's do another face mask. And then this is the last one that we're gonna have to do. Let's put this in front of the head binding. Oops, right there, beautiful. And let's just call this, I don't know, mouth mask, something like that, sure. Okay. So mouth mask, we want no opacity texture, I believe, and we wanna use original face. And then we want the texture to be the camera device texture. Yeah. And that's sort of doing what we want, but now we need to just move our sphere and kind of like get it out of the way here. So I want this to move up first of all. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we can move it back on the Z. And I just wanna like hide it. So maybe if we move the X scale in. Oops, no. Okay, Z scale, I think we should be able to just go flat, yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good there. But now I don't really like how by default, um, you know, it looks like I have no teeth. So although that is really creepy, um, Let's also interpolate this alpha. So this sphere, we're just gonna interpolate the alpha of this material so like we can just get a reference to the render mesh visual here. And so if we go back to our script editor, duplicate this for the final time, and I believe this is called render mesh visual. Render mesh visual, and we'll just call this mouth. And then actually, let's just duplicate this. We're gonna do almost the same thing with the mouth. So we'll duplicate this, script.mouth, base color, and then this color is, I don't want it to be like jet black, but let's go with like 0.15. I think that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, passing our intensity as well. So that should do it. Let's go back to the camera and we need to now drag that reference in. Okay, no mouth. Beautiful, absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I like that. All right, so that's it. I think we're good. Ah, like, comment, subscribe!